First off, I'm really bad at public speaking, so. You can um, do it! <laughs> What's up everybody we're getting ready to head to the 2023 scdra night of champions where i'll be collecting my second place trophy for the season huge shout out to dam trucking action graphics my wife my mom and dad and knr services all those guys make this stuff happen we're gonna go have a good time probably drink a couple beers but uh i'm excited hey you got your nose we got y bread we got sabrina we're ready to go. It's about a six and a half hour ride for us, which means about eight and a half hours with kids. It's gonna be a long ride, but it's a nice trip. My mom and dad will be in tow, towing their uh, trailer because they're actually heading to Illinois. Hey! <laughs> We're heading off to celebrate what's been a great year. Sure has. place is like the Barbie dream home. Great, have some fun? Yeah, tell them. Tell the YouTube all about it. Wyatt has been talking like crazy lately. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm gonna get you. Everyone has finally made it here to the Airbnb, and Jess and Mike made it, so Kate made it. What do you think about the old Airbnb? I think it's pretty nice. It's definitely uh, bright and pink outside, but inside <laughs> it's definitely nice, and uh, looking forward to the weekend, going to the SCDRA banquet. Night of Champions is gonna be a good time. Yeah, we're right on a river too. Not exactly sure what river it is, but I know it is a watery one. I'm kinda taking a guess. My dad jokes have just gotten so fire. <clears throat> Cheers, brother. Cheers. Bet that water's cold. I need assistance parking my vehicle. <laughs> Needs assistance parking her vehicle. I couldn't make it up the hill, so it's sideways. Oh and my we're God, in the grass. on the camera. <laughs> what do you mean you're in the grass? That, that, it was like a six foot like steep like this and my car wouldn't go backwards. So I like had to, you know, be on the gas a little bit more. And the dress was stressing me out. Like, Who knows what we're about to get going. into. And then I'm like, I'm in the grass. She's like, yeah, you're in the grass. I'm like, okay, somebody else can park oh it. It's okay. That thing is steep because I yeah, went like, I tried to back up the thing and then my Tahoe was just like vroom, vroom. And I'm just like, okay. I don't even know what she's talking about. I mean, she basically backed in the driveway, just kind of missed it a little bit. For the inspection, is uh, it's a little crooked. I mean, we'll pass it, right? I'll tell you one thing I am nervous about. I put the parking brake on whenever I parked the car and it was still on. Did you drive all the way there with the parking brake on? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you did if you didn't take it off. No, you did take it off. You put it back on? <laughs> yeah. How do you put it on? <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I thought. I'm trying to get my mom to shotgun a beer with me. She won't do it. Yes, she uh, Will you shotgun a beer with me? She needs a bat. <laughs> Reed, she needs a bat, like a quarter. Put a quarter no, down. No, no, and no, no, no. Let's, let's flip a coin. Heads, we shot around beer. Tails, we don't. No, no, I'm not, I can't do it right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why are you keep doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to run away from you. You're going to play hit me. You just woke up from a nap. Saturday morning before the banquet, we're here in Pitcher Forge just riding some go karts. We got Sabrina riding, my dad riding, so it's gonna be a good time. What you doing? Kate's still a little too short to ride go karts, but it won't be very long. He'll be riding. Dad ended up winning. They 
led the whole left lane out before the right lane, so he ended up uh, getting a little bit of a head start, but. You have fun? You have fun? Guys <laughs> are so watery. I feel like this is the suit I should have got for the banquet. Mommy's lost and she can't get over here. What's up guys? So we're getting into the banquet video and for whatever reason, all the footage I filmed before the banquet, something happened to it. I tried to get with a company here in town and salvage it but for whatever reason the video must have gotten corrupted whenever it went from my phone to the computer or something with my phone I'm not really sure but I lost it so that's why I'm filming this quick video to kind of lead you into the banquet video the banquet was awesome we got to see a lot of the people that you know we race with year-round and hang out with them we had a ton of fun Shout out to some good friends of ours for watching the kids. They took time out of their vacation to help us out and we appreciate that so much. We were surprised too by something that you'll see in the video. I put a lot of footage from the banquet into this video. There was a lot of awesome stuff said from not only Kelly's point of view, but from uh, the way that the promoters perceive us and how fans that really didn't like the SCRA stuff uh, have changed their mind to kind of see us in a different light, so to speak. It's almost rewarding in a way because I've been a part of this series since its conception. We started running with these guys back in 2010 or 2011. All in all, it was a great time. I'm super happy that they decided to put an actual banquet together and put it on. It was definitely worth it, definitely worth the trip. And you know, even if we aren't in it in the future, I probably will still go. Shout out to all you guys. I'm looking forward to a great 2024 year and thank you guys for supporting this channel the way you do. And don't forget, at the end of this video, we're gonna be picking a lucky subscriber to receive a little goodie bag. We actually got some shirts on the way. You know, we still got a couple stickers left, but we're gonna to have to place another order on those soon. We also got some new stuff coming to the page, so keep an eye out on that. Got a lot of things in the works currently, so look forward to some awesome content coming out very soon. Good buddy Dwayne Deese. He is actually watching right now. So if you would, let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> I wish you were here, buddy. We'll see you at I-75. What a great year. I don't know, uh, I'm not big on day racing, but man, this, this race turned out to be a fantastic race. My, my sheet says, and my little thing up there says we have them talking. You guys have them talking. Incredible racing we had all year long. If you can't read them, these are just Facebook excerpts people posted on different race pages or different Facebook pages. I'm gonna read them to you. Well worth the price of admission, y'all. That was intense. Congrats to everyone. It was like watching the big one that never happened. I watched the last two SCDRA events, and after going 40 plus years of worshiping the late model God, this is worth the watch. I've been going to dirt tracks nearly 40 years, and that was definitely in the top five races I ever saw last night. Bravo, SEDRA. I hope to catch more of you folks at the tracks I can get to. That was a hell of a race. I've never seen anything like this. What a show. So we got a good product, guys. So Bruce Denman's in the room. Stand up, Bruce. Make sure you thank this guy because he's the reason that SEDRA touring exists. He said, if you ever started touring around a little bit, getting some races and traveling, you'd have a bunch of people that follow you and I'd be one of them. And he has been, he's been loyal, 
And again, he's one of the reasons we exist. Another reason that we're able to do what we do uh, is our fantastic marketing partners. In 2024, we have some more that are coming on and we'll talk about that later. I want to recognize them all. Some of them are here, Jason Waters, Jason Waters Tuning. is our number one sponsor. He supported us from day one. Uh, he puts cash back into the program. I know you guys pay him, but he puts money right back into this program and, and invests in you. New Fast Motorsports, same thing. He's been a supporter since uh, day one, so really glad to have him. Mary's Home Furnishings, Greg Mary, great friend of mine, but he also is very uh, supportive of our program and believes in what we do. Eddie McGrew, McGrew's Body Shop. Uh, they sponsor our Victory Lane, made sure we had a really nice Victory Lane this year, or last year and this year. Big Ace Custom Graphics does all our checks and all our printed materials. Uh, I could not do it without Anthony. He's been a big supporter, not only of, of SEDRA, but of me personally for many years. And is a very important part of what we do. Arizona Sports Shirts, Gerald Newton, Joy of Seating with Randy LaJoy, Simpson Race Products, Velocity USA, Bad Brad, one of the best guys there is. We've never dealt with Bad Brad. Uh, he's really stepped up to the plate. My buddy Joe Vincent at Race Seaver, Again, a big, huge supporter. He's the reason that we have those uh, lightsabers out there for you guys to use if you don't have one. Uh, Symes Designs, who does all our posters and graphics on the line that we use. And then Easy Go, uh, Mike Parkhurst, been a great friend of ours for a long time as well. Another thing that uh, allows us to do what we do is our fantastic host racetracks. Uh, Scrappy Motor Speedway, of course, James Red Griffin, who's the reason, the other big reason all this stuff exists. Uh, Tri-County Racetrack with Ray Cook, Lake B Motor Speedway, Scott and Sophie Tripper in the back of the room. I appreciate them coming. They were our promoters of the year last year. They've done so much for our program. They believe in the program and have supported it from the beginning. I-75 Raceway, Winchester Speedway, Greg Gunner. That was the race we did, the co-promoted race we did with uh, SEDRA Northeast. Sumter Speedway, Cece and Cody McAllister. They love having us there. Some of the best races we've had have been over there as well. Sonora Raceway, Sonny, Bubby, Bubba, Andrea Pollard, Clint Smith. I know everybody. Good to see everybody out here tonight. And uh, just want to say a couple words quick about Kelly and the program that he's running for you guys. We love the SCDRA. We love the product that Kelly brings as a racetrack. So you're hearing it tonight from an actual track promoter that just loves the product, loves you guys coming to our races. We got a date, April 26th is Friday night. Uh, we'll have a pit party again, and uh, we're cooking a hog, and uh, we got a band coming called Southern Country Outlaws again on the stage. So I just wanted to plug that a little bit, and then Saturday, April 27th, will be your 5,000 win race at Lakeview. I wanted to invite everybody out. Uh, after that, I don't think I have too much more to say other than I want to do something for Kelly tonight. So, hold this for me. Uh oh. It's not a firearm, is it? Wait a minute. It's not a firearm. <laughs> Did it come from the liquor store? <laughs> we got Kelly a little gift tonight. So, so I had this, uh, Kelly's very special to us and you guys are very special to us. There's, there's not many promoters out here like Kelly and uh, he's given a lot of awards away and he really loves you guys. He loves the tracks as you can tell, his heart and passion to this. So we, we had our uh, brand and our trophy guy make Kelly a plaque. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. He doesn't know this is happening until now. And I just want to read what we have here quickly. So what this says is it says, it's an outstanding promoter among multiple series. This award is presented to Kelly Carlton for his outstanding work on wavering support and sacrifice to multiple dirt track racing series, all while working full-time serving the community as a paramedic. As a skilled professional, mentor, and friend, you put your heart and soul into all that you do, touching lives, leaving lasting impacts with all that crosses your path. Your hard work, time, and dedication to multiple series and events has not gone unnoticed. We appreciate your passion, experience, and leadership. Thank you for all that you do for the motorsports industry. This award is presented by Scott and Sophie Tripp from Lakeview Motor Speedway. Here you go, Kelly. One 
one of the big parts of our program is our outstanding media partners. We're so blessed to have so many folks that come and take pictures or write stories for us. Again, it's always been very difficult to get a lot of coverage for our events when we first started. So we're very thankful to all these folks that put in time and uh, show up and show interest. It also is, is important to a lot of children that we help have Christmas every year. I appreciate you, I appreciate Adam for allowing us to do it at his racetrack. Uh, he was immediately on board, got me in touch with you know, the local chapter to uh, find out what we needed to do. These race promoters really step out on the limb and put a lot of money up for us, for a class you know, that really doesn't normally race for a lot of money. So these guys are really special. They work hard for us. Every year we've been uh, <clears throat> blessed with so many good, great promoters and it's hard to pick one every year that stands out above the rest. And I don't know that it's, that's the right description, but uh, this year, again, as soon as I called Adam about Toys for Tots, he was on board. As soon as I talked to him about Young Lions, he said, we'll work it out and make it happen. And for that reason and many, many others, he's been a great friend too. He and I grew up together, basically, to be honest. Uh, he started out at Talladega lining up race cars, and now he's the racetrack owner and promoter. And I think that's pretty special. But he is also our 2023 Short Track Promoter of the Year for SCDRA. Come on up here, It says, uh, 2023 SCD, SCDRA Promoter of the Year, Adam Stewart, Talladega Short Track, East Toboga, Alabama. In recognition of your continued effort to promote and advance sport compact racing, if you don't know, Adam switched to all our rules this year, which is also a big help for us on our weekly program. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Gals and all you folks that come, um, not only SCDRA, our big event we have, I want to make that bigger, better, the Young Lions. I was really excited about that. I have a go-kart track. I really buy into young people wanting to do this because I'm the youngest guy that does this in most cases and not that young anymore. Uh, just turned 40. But uh, I definitely want to see this continue to grow. Uh, I appreciate all of you coming. Our Ice Bowl event, we went with your rules this year. 74 cars, my goodness. Uh, I, I don't know how any racetrack can say that's not a good deal. So you guys keep supporting those events. We're going to keep supporting you all. So thank you for coming. Kelly, thank you for the award. Thank you, Adam. Um, this next award, he ain't here. He's already got it. Our promoter of the decade. If you know this guy, you got to love him. I did this award for him, had it put together, and he wouldn't be able to come. But... Um, this guy's been everything for us and for me to get this program together. Uh, he has spent dollars on top of dollars for you guys. And um, I don't know anybody that loves it any more than he does, but James Big Red Griffin, Scrabble Motor Speedway is our promoter of the decade. Let's give him a round of applause. Oh, yes. This next award is uh, really interesting. My good buddy, um, Big A from Speedway Barbecue, he's at Lakeview every time we're there. Actually, he's at Lakeview every time the gates open, but I've known him for many years. They cook all over the place, they have a competition barbecue team, but they've supported us in different ways over the years. This year, he came to me and said, hey, I'd love to do some kind of a sportsmanship type award, something that would reward a driver for being a good guy or a good girl. I said, okay, how do you want me to give it away? How do, how do you? He said, well, take a poll of your drivers, take a poll of your officials, put them all together, disqualify the jerks, <laughs> and then figure out who it should be. Well, that wasn't real hard this year. We had a lot of folks that were nominated a lot of folks who probably deserve the award. Uh, but there was one that every time the name was said, they said, oh yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely deserves it. Uh, one of the uh, true, truly 
most well-liked people in our program, and one of the nicest guys I know, Reed Christensen. Big A sent a, a card, told me not to open it, not to read it, not to look at it. So I'll give you that part. Well, first off, I want to thank uh, Big A for the award. Um, truly, truly does mean a lot to me. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> first off, I'm really bad at public speaking, so this doesn't help. You won't preach. I suck at the camera. So, you can uh, do it! <laughs> SCRA, you know, it's really. It's changed my life. I mean, I, I started racing when uh, I started racing the series back before it was even SCRA. And, you know, I met Andrew, and uh, he's really the reason I moved up to Georgia and pursued this as hard as I have. So, uh, shout out to him as well. I finished second to him this year in the championship. Hope to improve the spot better this year, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we can make that happen. But. There's no one I'd rather finish second to. He's a good dude and definitely a damn good racer. So, um, you know, it was, a, it was a great year. I got to thank my wife. She, uh, even when I'm out in the shop, she's holding it down in the house. So, uh, got to thank all you guys for the, the awesome racing and stuff. I mean, I feel like 2023 is probably the best on-track product we've had. I mean, it, it was really good and you guys did an awesome job. And, uh, shout out to Jason. He's been a huge supporter of the series ever since he's gotten involved in it. He's tuned my cars over the last, I don't know, 10 years now, and uh, there's no one else I would go to. Not only does he do what he needs to do to get us in, but he uh, he comes to the track, and if I ever need something, I'll call him when he's there. So you can't, uh, can't replace people like that in your life. Shout out to my buddy Mike and Jess for coming tonight. Shout out to Jason, who I... Uh, drove for for DAM trucking this past year. Uh, he was planning on being here tonight, but with the trucking business, it's all all over the place. So he, uh, he unfortunately had to deal with that and couldn't make it. But uh, shout out to Action Graphics. Uh, they've been huge supporters of me this whole time. k and Services, my, my parents that own a construction company, they, uh, they're they huge assets to me as well. So thank you to all you guys. Thank you to all the competitors for being the badass drivers you are, and thank you to everyone else that supports this thing. It's it's truly, truly awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I a personal text message from Big A, one of the nicest guys in the world. Uh, so you read that when you get back, okay? Thank you. Second place is gonna be Marine Christian. Somewhat because of 
bad circumstances. Uh, Bruce does a whole lot for me um, and a whole lot of other people here at Grace with us. I'm going to get to Bill. And just, I, <laughs> thanks, Bill. <laughs> um, man, I, I can't think of anybody else. I'd rather tighten most of the bolts on my race car. Man, I love you guys. I love all y'all. This has been a uh, good several years of my racing career and uh, ready for one more, I guess. That's right. I want to thank all of you guys, man. Not this year ago we got into this, and it was uh, life changing for sure. So thank all you guys. It's been a great run. I'm ready for the rest of it. So. a great time at the SCDRA banquet. I'm honored to be the 2023 Sportsman of the Year. It's really awesome. I got super emotional during my speech, but it just kind of hit me like that. I was super, <laughs> it was super unexpected. So got about a six and a half, seven hour drive. It shouldn't be too bad. We're just gonna take it slow and make our way back towards Georgia. Riding and now I have two kids, love them, but we're we're not young and cool anymore. And maybe when the kids are a little older, we can get back to it, get us a little four-seater buggy or something, but those guys definitely look like they had a good time. All right guys, so the time has finally come to choose one of you lucky subscribers to receive an Import Outlaws goodie bag. We've been saying we were gonna give away a goodie bag once we hit 500 subscribers, and we did that. We're actually almost at 600 now, so shout out to you guys for all the support, and thank you guys so much for everything you do for the channel. We're gonna be giving away some stickers. We got a new shirt that's about to drop, so we got a lot of stuff to look forward to. I kind of have a strange addiction for cool merch, kind of like this Jason Waters tuning hat that I'm actually wearing right now. I swear, since I've gotten this thing, I haven't taken it off. All right, so now it's the moment that I know all of you guys have been waiting for. So the lucky subscriber to win the goodie bag is Dan Benson 6442 Thank you, Dan, for subscribing. Reach out to me on Facebook or on here, and I'll get you your goodie bag. We have a lot of races coming up with the SCDRA series, so there's going to be some awesome content coming to the Import Outlaws YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for participating in this little giveaway. We plan on doing some more in the future.